Sometimes during the migration, target user's mailbox is missing mail or calendar data. In this case, we can simply resynchronize the mailbox, especially if there are no obvious errors or issues noticeable in the log file. First, it's a good idea to go to the properties of the agent host and to enable extended logging by selecting the tracing and the checkbox for extended logging. Then we can go to the properties of our mailbox collection and using the right mouse menu we can go to the properties, synchronization and perform a full resynchronization. We will get a warning and then we click on resynchronize and if we want to resynchronize absolutely everything we say all and close with OK. We have to commit changes. If we have a big collection with, with lots of mailboxes we might want to resynchronize only one or a couple of mailboxes. We can go to the members, select the desired member and then go to the synchronization tab and perform the same steps. Resynchronize and we select all mail data. We have the option to select resynchronize switched or not switched mailboxes or both and once this is done again we need to commit the changes. A full resynchronization can be also performed for the calendar information. We can go to our calendar synchronization job and resynchronize our calendar collection. If the collection was populated with single mailboxes, we can go to members, otherwise, we will just resynchronize the entire collection. Once again, we have to commit to changes. The same can be performed with public folder data. If public folders are missing some items, but there are no entries in the log file, no errors, we can go and resynchronize our public folders. Again, we go to synchronization and perform a full resynchronization. In sometimes we can see in the log an entry about the missing parent. This means the folder structure has not been synchronized and we can synchronize the folder structure only. We need to pay attention in which direction we are going to resynchronize the data and then we close with OK and commit the changes. It is very important to realize that a full resynchronization can be performed at any given moment. It will not create any duplicate entries in the target mailboxes or folders and it's safe to perform a full synchronization as often as needed.